Yo, Pierre, you wanna come in? Shoot in that air, cause I run that block. Give me top, top. What is going on, everybody? Swag Games here back, and we have some my NBA 2K18. Today we're going to be discussing about all the bans that have been going on around the community and my thoughts on it. For starters, I was the first one in the game to be banned for the remainder of the year, and it was because of illegal credits. Now, honestly, there's so many people that you guys aren't aware of that that do it. They haven't been banned. There have been people that have been banned, and why I did it, honestly, was just to get a start. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of people saying, well, if other people are buying them, then I have to because I want to, you know, be, you know, I don't want to be behind them. You know, it's more dedication and more time you have to put in to, you know, to play the game legit compared to people that aren't. And NBA Live Mobile, the same thing did happen. I didn't get banned in NBA Live Mobile. That's because I don't cheat. And the people, some people did get banned. And, you know, I'm honestly glad because it's just... It's impossible, you know, you know, I mean, it's not impossible, but it's not probable. There's a huge difference there. So um, for starters, you know, I like I like the moves, you know, because, you know, honestly, like why I chose to come up here was just because, you know, um, I'm going to defend the, the people that do cheat and I'm also going to not defend them. I mean, I'm not going to step here and say cheating is OK because, you know, we want a game that doesn't have, you know, rule breakers i mean you look at you know people that buy you know mt and that buy coins and madden you know it's not fair you know i i'll go on and i'll you know i'm not even that good at the game and i'll be playing an, an all 95 and higher team you know and honestly the guys really aren't that good so that's how you can tell that they're buying coins and but you know cat daddy you know the thing about cat daddy you know doing this that annoys me the most is that they're spending all this time to keep people that from out of the game that actually are contributing you know you can be, you know, cheating in the game and you can still be having a positive impact, you know, like example for me, like I post videos, you know, I grew, you know, I'm still growing. Like I am at 2004 subs, you know, I don't post anything else really. You know, I get comments all the time telling me that they like my videos, you know, to keep posting. Um, and that really keeps me going. So that's why I'm making the decision now to like be very careful about my um, my account and to keep playing events because, you know, honestly, the Miami community is like amazing. Um, you know, it's it isn't what it used to be, you know, back in Miami 2K15 and uh, 16 somewhat. 17 I liked I mean now it's the thing about now is like it's new and, you know, there's people out there that actually really care about the game and that want to have fun. I want to have fun, you know. And I just want to move past all this stuff. I mean, really, you know, the biggest thing about this is just, like, the botting. You know, this the botters, you know, there are people that bought, you know, the teams, top teams, top 10 teams. You know, a lot of those people bought, and they haven't been, you know, caught for it. And not only do those people bought, but they buy illegal, or, you know, uh, credits. Sorry, I want to say MT, but, you know, honestly, I have... um proof of you know some people that do it but honestly i don't care who gets banned and who don't i'm here to have fun and to help the game grow and although you know it hurts you know the overall intention of the game you know if you go ahead of the system and you buy you know uh credits but you know at the same time at least you're playing i mean if you look at mine b2k17 that really wasn't a good game um 18 has been all uh has it been a lot better it really hasn't but you know you look at 17 like that game was you know, it was blacktop and it was events. It was it was very repetitive. But, you know, since, you know, there was nothing like, you know, buying, you know, or I didn't really buy. I got free RP, but there was nothing like, you know, getting a ton of RP and going on a shopping spree and, you know, grinding events. Like I got every, I shouldn't say every event card, but I got a ton of event cards, like six, seven, eight event cards in my BTK17, you know, um, after I got banned, which really they didn't care because i was helping the game and also you know a lot like it was active like look at my views you know if i this video probably will not get over 300 views um mine be 2k17 my videos were getting 600 you know a, a normal video was getting 400 views you know a good video a thousand you know eight hundred thousand views now you know this one probably won't even get over 300 but you know i don't really care about views i'm just here because i enjoy my nba it's still a good game like i have nothing really against the actual game itself but um i'm just you know annoyed at the fact that they're you know spending so much time focusing on people that are cheating but still play the game i mean if you're buying you know credits then you know 
I mean, you shouldn't be. That's against the rules. But, you know, if you're going after event cards and you're posting videos and you're in the community, then at least the game's still happening, you know. But um, can the game still grow with, you know, without any of this in it? Yes, it absolutely can. But it's basically irrelevant. I mean, you know, there's been so many people. I mean, you know, I'll name a few right now. You know, M. Sloan, you know, Bacon Plays, who I've never even seen any of his videos, but I know he's been banned um, or maybe he has. I don't know. Um, other than that, uh, Cameron Grant's another one. If you guys are familiar with him, he's a YouTuber. He's been he was shouldn't have been banned, and I don't know why he was banned. My guess was be I thought he was banned for account sharing, but if it was account sharing, they would have emailed him back about it because I've known people that have been banned for account sharing, and they always message back about that. I don't know what the issue with that, but like, why are we focusing so much on, you know, the you know banning of people when we should be focusing on helping the game like the game can add stuff and it, people will start playing you know they added superstar tier there's going to be another tier before playoff tier but like who honestly gives like a you know what explosive about that like i don't care if you add two new tiers i care about adding game modes like they added a 2v2 and what are the issues with that um honestly it's very time consuming because it's just like it's just like a, a king of the court, in my opinion. It's, you know, that's it. I mean, they've added that, and um, the rewards aren't great for that. It's not like, you know, you grind it out, you know. You know, say, like, every, like, week or something, they do, like, a 2v2 tournament, and the winner gets, a, you know, a, an elite Kawhi Leonard or something. Like, you know, if you look at a game like Clash Royale, you know, every, like, week they're doing an event. And in a 2v2 tournament, you know, if you play 12 games and you win nine so you are not you win 10 because you can't lose three times you know you're walking away with a you know you're getting a legendary chest at the end if you don't know what that is i'll explain it in a minute you're getting a legendary chest you're getting coins you're getting cards you know you may get a few epic cards but in a 2v2 let me, let me look at the rewards right now like i'll or i clicked on nba light mobile well, let me look at the rewards right now so like i'm i looked at them when the game for game mode first dropped dropped uh came out and it wasn't anything special. We'll see if they change it. Um, I'm glad to have this account because I this account will never get banned because I never show the name. It's just for like event previews, so I can just log in. And it's also it's terrible. Like if for me, you know, every time I log onto this app, I am thinking, am I going to get banned? Like it's just not fun. You know, I can't have fun. And yes, you know, the only reason I'm banned for the remainder of the year is because I posted a video on the credits and I told people about it. And uh, that was because I didn't know that it was against the rules. But, I mean, it makes, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking, but whatever, man, who really cares? So, we go over to 2-on-2. Two, um, two two. It's called 2-on-2. Two two. Like, it's so stupid. You know, I don't know, like, the, I don't get the point of this at all. I mean, I like the idea of it, but it's just, uh, there's, re I like the recent partnerships. You can see who you recently played with. Um, where are the rewards? Okay, um, ladder rewards. So, you know, like, ladder rewards, once again, you know, I actually do miss the ladder rewards, and, you know, if you remember, like, in my NBA 2K, um, f I know, four 15, 14 and 15, you know, you got the Jordan cards, I really do wish that was back, because it, it like, say if you play 100,000 games, like, it really doesn't mean anything, it's just a waste of your time, but, you know, you can, like, you know, show your, like, true, you know, passion for the game, if they have a, a ladder, you know, worldwide Jordan, that only you can earn through, through playing game, you know, any type of game mode, so, um now honestly if you look right here you can see the the packs but i don't know what's inside of them so um i i don't know i can't really i guess i can't really speak upon the rewards but honestly you know it's nothing exciting like you know it really isn't i mean i wish they had a, a game mode like domination 2k18 where you play offline against the computer but, you know, you do not need a stacked team to compete in it. You can bring any team, and as long as you outplay your opponent, you get great rewards. You know, when you f I finished Historic Domination about a month ago, I got, like, four Amethysts. One of them was Penny Hardaway on the Suns when he was 28. He, I think that was after, that was definitely after his injury when he wasn't as good, but it's still, like, a good card. I got Bill Russell. I got, um, who else did I get? I got, I don't remember their names. Not, no one, I mean, I did get a few, um, rubies as well, but who cares? Like, I got Bill Russell and Penny Hardaway, and I used them both. I got, uh, Diamond 96, Jojo White, you know, really good point guard, you know, six foot four, can shoot, can take it to the rim, 
good on defense. You know, I had him on Giannis and Tenacumpo earlier while I was playing, and he, Giannis didn't score once. Uh, mostly because of me, I'm pr I've gotten a lot better on ball, but that's not really the point. The point of this video, man, is because I'm, you know, I like the direction of where my NBA is heading, you know. Like, next year, I don't want any, I, like, man, I, I should have explained this earlier, but if you guys remember, in the first month of my NBA 2K18, I did not cheat. You know, I was just playing, I was posting videos, my videos were getting really good views, I was being helpful. Um, I was one of the first people in the entire game to get to a thousand games. Uh, I know t I was, you know, Tony Miranda was grinding as well. But then I came across, you know, the credits and somebody told me, you know, well, I never knew that people were doing it. Actually, I somewhat did know. I knew a few people were doing it last year. They never got caught this year. You know, it was the same thing. You know, you know, you're not going to get caught. And I was like, here is my perspective, you know, going into college, you know, do you spend or 30 bucks on a pack let's look at the, the prices right here do you spend 30 bucks on a pack or do you spend you know 30 bucks on five or six packs that was my thoughts on it you know and obviously i didn't think too highly of, of like it being cheating because i clearly posted a video on it I, um i actually when i first did the at first i was like don't tell anybody but then i was just like you know i think more people need to know about this so maybe that we can come together and have like reduce credit um packs but that's the only way they're gonna make their money because like how else you know it's this game is just all about money man like they're focusing on making more money by banning people that spend illegal you know that buy illegal credits it's only helping themselves well it's helping the people that you know play the game that don't cheat but like what's the point of you know you playing the game and not cheating if all of the people in the community are doing it and that's not saying all the people are doing it but a lot of people are like grinders so all right, so what was I looking at? Oh yeah, the prices, okay. And I know like you guys really know this, but I'm just gonna go over it one more time. So, um, okay, so it looks like, what's a good pack? Um, you know, look at a team rebuild pack for 700 credits, seven player cards, including some shots at some star. You're not getting a star in that pack, I can guarantee that. Um, you look, okay, so um, a marquee, or no, a trust the process pack is four basic players, three foils, and a bunch of extras. Now keep in mind here, I opened up not i opened up i spent 40 bucks of the credits which is equivalent to a hundred dollars of actual like itunes or uh, android and i didn't pull one elite card so that's like can you really blame people for doing it i mean you know they're not saying you know i want to cheat because i can't beat the people that play legit you know you cheat because you know and a lot of people cheat i mean you look at tom brady you know he's probably cheated like over a dozen times you know he's been caught a few times but there's no it's not like you know he cheats because he can't beat his opponent without cheating you know you, just, and it's, you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying it's right but at the same time like i just wanted to give this video up because i wanted to get my opinion on it and really i do not care i mean if i can't play the game i can't play the game you know it's a lesson learned you know we all need to learn our lessons sometime but you know then again like i'm making videos for the game like i'm inspiring people to play and i'm inspiring people to you know you know there's nothing like you know i mean i watch youtubers as well i'm just like you guys that are watching me you know there's youtubers you know every time they post a video man you get a, a warm feeling it's like you know um luxury pranks is my favorite youtuber right now and i've watched all of his videos like uh, i'm not gonna get too deep into that but the point is man is you know I don't know, maybe we can come together. Maybe, you know, everybody that's been banned, you know, they should be banned. I'm not saying, like, I don't exp I don't want my account back. I don't want anybody that got banned to get their account back. I'm just saying, you know, like, what is the point of keeping, you know, me and other people? Like, M. Sloan is banned for the re remainder of the year. Like, what is the point of that? You know, like, I just, it's stupid. Like, we need to come together and figure out a solution of, you know, well, if you do this, and I've said that a million times, if they, you know add things in like add new features in and they make this game really enjoyable and do not make it like ww supercard where there's 10 different things to do because that's i want you know a few objectives which way am i going to go challenges domination you know events and we're good to go like that would be a great game you know something that i can do i mean i don't want to just sit here every week and you know grind to spend my entire week you know weekend and uh yeah weekend because it's fridays now just getting event cards i want to focus it on you know okay well you know maybe on monday and wednesday i'll go at this new domination you know and knock out a few teams and you know get a chance at a good card and then i'll come back on the weekend and i'll put a little work in and also that's another thing like they need to do something they need to do more flash events because i like 
you know, I do not see the point of, like, I don't like events, at, like, I like events, but I don't like how it's so long, like, you know, I am not spending my weekend on this app, and I've done it before, and I've always very much regretted it, like, but that was because I didn't, like, before I was driving and stuff, like, now I drive, and I actually am doing things, and we're over, over 15 minutes on this, and honestly, I don't feel like I've gotten, like, really, really that strong of a message off, but it's okay, because I'm just, like, explaining my, my thoughts on this whole thing, situation, so... I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but, you know, of course, like, people are, are going to be, like, all over the place about it, you know, and I'm not just saying this because I'm banned for the remainder of the year, I'm speaking for everybody that's been banned, you know, everybody enjoys this game, you know, you know, I'm still posting videos on it, and I fully intend to get um, a superstar card because I really very much would like, you know, I mean, I still like the game, like, the, you know, there's the only other better mobile game than in terms of basketball, you know, that's out there is NBA Live Mobile. And even NBA Live Mobile is not in a good situation. That's why I stopped doing it because, you know, it's basically the only people that are getting views on that are the big YouTubers. I mean, you look at QJB who has to have like almost, does he have two mil? I don't know if he has to, he has at least a million subs. And he's, you know, he's posting these, you know, pack like this royalty LeBron came out. He's a 95 overall. He can be bumped up to a 99. And on Wednesday, he posted like a pack opening for that and him getting it. And it's been over a day now. And it's only 70,000 views. Like, that's crazy. I mean, he's an NBA Live Mobile YouTuber. He's not just an NBA Live Mobile YouTuber, but he's mainly for that. So, like, I don't know, man. There's just no game. Like, even 2K, I played it earlier. It's so broken. Like, I'll make a pass. Like, I'll make a pass from my free throw line to over, like, to ne near the um, three-point line. Like, I'll, you know, throw it ahead. And it will just sail over, you know, my player's head, you know. I um I was down one point with like 14 seconds left. I drove with Rex Chapman, you know, one of the um I don't know I actually don't know how he was in his, in real life, but in the game he's like one of the best finishers in the game and he just he went up for a layup and he you know, he got hit, took a little contact, went up, you know, and just hit the back rim, bounced off. You know, um also with Sean Bradley 7 foot 7, you know, uh you know, I uh there was 3 seconds left. I uh he you know, he took like so long to turn. He was going like that and he finally turned. And he had um, Hakeem Olajuwon on him, and he shook him. But when he went to the hook shot, you know, he took so long to get off. And it was point one, you know, second away from being a game-winning shot. And I lost by one. And I don't know, man. Like, it's just crazy, you know. I don't know, like, this whole YouTube thing. I basically, like, I didn't give up on it. But it's just, like, you know, it's just so many people on here. You know, like, you need to have, you know, you need to be good at something. So, um, you know, that's why I'm just focusing on my studies. You know, I'm getting all A's. You know, focusing on got a job. You know, I haven't had one, like, two months so got that i did have i do have a lot of money saved up i'm still driving this but yeah, i'll probably leave it at that i mean 18 minutes you know i don't have much more to say but yeah i want to know your guys thoughts on the whole situation you know i just feel like you know it helps the game but like like it helps too i mean there's not that many people playing like you know i feel like we should all, like, all come together everybody that's been banned for the remainder of the year should get unbanned you know, maybe be given one more chance because, you know, and I mean, they've got it figured out. There's no more buying credits. There's no more, you know, I mean, they definitely need to fix botting. Like, that's a thing. Like, you know, if say if I was like buying, you know, credits, it's not like I was cheating in Rival Splash. I was just opening packs and doing giveaways. Like, that's really it. So, <sighs> 18 and a half minutes on, on this. Like, I just don't understand it, man. I really don't. But, yeah, guys, have a great rest of your day. Peace. I got two long rubber the plug and one